Hi, my name is Petro Verbruggen from TechCondo and together with LiveView I bring you the LU300 video series. In this video I'll explain the audio return option or IFV which is needed for at-home video productions or RAMI. Um, and to do that I'll just start to uh, switch on the LU2000 and let's do it. <laughs> All right, welcome in my studio. And as you might hear is that it sounds a little bit like a server room because you hear the LU2000 server and my own streaming server, which I'm recording this uh, video on. Um, so to avoid that unnecessary sound, I actually put on my headset and headphones to talk to the cameraman for IFB. And uh, so this is the first part of the, the chain to get that organized. So what I do is here I have one microphone and via my mixer, which you will see right now, I actually have um, divided my sound into three different um, um, streams. And that is going through my audio interface into the LiveView 2000. And that is the way that I get the IFB signal into my server. But in order to do that, I also need to prepare it on the LU2000. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. To set up IFB, you have to go to your LU2000 or LU4000 and start the configuration tool via LiveView config. And this is the welcome screen of that uh, tool. And let's hit uh, continue and we are going to use the manual flow first and foremost we have to set up our instance and that is the fourth option hit spacebar and run uh, yes we want to configure the channel we have four channels okay and here you have it. the UDP port is for video and the IFB port is for your well IV your audio return and this is the way that you can just simply change that to, for instance, 9004 and hit OK. Well, this is all default. We don't have to go into this uh, option at this moment. Next is that we want to set up the volume of the IFB. We can do that via IFB configuration. And indeed, this is what we want. And I have put it onto 20, but you can uh, have a range from 0 to 1 to 7. Um, well, it depends on what you want, but uh, typically I think for me, 20 is enough. Okay, that's all with this. So now we are ready on the studio side. We have a headset so that as a producer, I can produce hands-free, which is great. Also, my voice is distributed via my mixer, which is an Ellen & Heath QU16, but you can take another mixer if you want. My voice then goes through the audio interface, which is the Focusrite 18i8, and that's one of the supported audio interfaces by LiveView. More of those in the comments below. And on the LU2000, I've configured the ports so that I can actually talk to the LU300, so via IFB. Also on the LU2000, I set the volume to a certain amount so that I am I have a good connection with my cameraman. It is very important to know that the audio interface needs to be up and running before you switch on the LU2000. Otherwise, it will not work. Also, let's go into the next part, and that is to connect the LU300. In order to make sure that the IFB is working correctly, we need to go through a process. We need to have a sequential uh, process. So first and foremost, we need to connect the LU300 with your camera. And then once that is done, you have to connect your headphones. And then after that, you switch on your LU300 and you're good to go. So now you've learned all the steps in the studio and on your field unit, the LU300, to be able to talk to your cameraman with less than one second delay, I might add. Did you like this video? Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when I post a new one. See you around. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.